Hi everybody, um, you know, Road to the Horse 2024 was probably one of the biggest asks I've ever kind of put upon myself, and not just myself, but uh, my wife and my family and, and our team here at, at Copper Line, both our team and our family here in Florida and also in Canada. You know, we had so many people come out and support us, and so many people that were helpful in so many ways. Uh, from the booth to helping with the horses uh, to a really special group of people that got together and, and pitched in and bought me a cowboy hat which I'll be bringing uh, to, and here's the big news I'll, I'll be bringing that cowboy hat to Road to the Horse uh, 2025 so I'll be showing that off to you guys next year um, they've invited me back to compete which I'm really excited about and uh, I'm hoping if they'll let me I'm gonna bring uh, the little quarter horse the, the little chestnut uh, the little sorrel uh, that we call Tomcat. I'm going to be bringing him back with me and uh, showing you a little bit of the groundwork that I've been practicing and, and, and hopefully working towards liberty. Um, you know, after Road to the Horse 2024, uh, people asked if I was going to kind of change my, my business and start starting a lot of horses. But we're really uh, full speed ahead with our eventing horses. And uh, the, the starting of the horses is really a passion project for me. It's not the main part of our business. And uh, I think one of the big takeaways for me and for anybody that's interested in, in starting horses is that it's not a separate thing. Starting horses and competing horses isn't really a separate thing. There's, there's so much overlap. Um, and like they say, the devil is in the, the details. There's so much uh, subtlety and nuance that from competing it helps you with starting horses. And from starting horses it helps you with competing. And uh, I've, thanks to Beatrice and Adi von Gontard and thanks to Noel Floyd, I've got Tomcat here and I've been practicing with him. Um, also, uh, you know, I spent a lot of time preparing for Road to the Horse 2024. And uh, now, you know, in the next couple of months, I'm going to start preparing for Road to the Horse 2025. And the big thing, you know, the biggest thing to take away from it for me is not any kind of result or placing, but it's how much I learn in the process. And last year, I probably learned more in the eight months of preparation than I did in the previous eight years, just because of the amount of uh, situations that I put myself in where I was out of my comfort zone and uh, what I did to get ready. So I look forward to that process again, and I look forward to sharing it with you and, and seeing you at Road to the Horse 2025.